Hello, and welcome back, Disney and Pixar fans. We have another great video for you today. Pixar's newest film, Luca, was released on June 13th of this year, and fans have loved this story of Luca, the young sea monster who is able to turn into human while he's on land. The movie takes place on the Italian Riviera and is a coming-of-age story about a young child experiencing what can only be described as an unforgettable summer. A summer filled with pasta, gelato, and scooters, all while Luca struggles to keep his secret safe from the humans he is interacting with on land. In today's video, we're going to be discussing 18 Easter eggs that can be found throughout the film. Stay to the end to see what we know about the unknown Easter egg referencing Pixar's unreleased film, Turning Red. The Vespa First up, let's talk a little bit about the scene where we see Luca and his new friend Alberto building their dream Vespa from scratch. Did you notice what the pair used as a mirror on the Vespa they were attempting to build? Instead of a mirror, they used a photograph of Marcello Mastriani. Marcello was an Italian actor that passed away in 1996. He was best known for his role as Marcello Rubini in the 1960 film La Dolce Vita. Pinocchio Next, let's take a look at Julia's room for a second. At first glance, it seems like a relatively normal room, but when you examine it a bit closer, you will see that it isn't only the home of the young misfit Julia. No, it's also home to a couple of Easter eggs, one of which is a reference to Disney's Pinocchio. During a scene that takes place in their imagination, Luca and Julia can be seen reading a book called La Aventure de Pinocchio by Carlo Collodi. Donald Duck Another Easter egg that can be seen sitting beside Julia's bed is a stuffed toy that looks remarkably like Donald Duck, who, as we all know, is one of the most beloved Disney characters of all time and a close friend to everyone's favorite mouse. Niccolo Patera Last but not least, let's take a final look in Julia's room for the last Easter egg. Among a small amount of clutter in the room, you may have noticed a record. The name on that record reads as Niccolo Patera. This is in reference to one of the animators at Pixar, Nick Patera. Nick has worked on movies such as Up, Onward, Zootopia, and many more, earning himself 30 different credits on IMDb, all for varying things from visual effects to the editorial department of movies. Nick has played a major role at Pixar over the last couple of years, and this Easter egg was probably a nice reference for him to see, especially in a movie that he himself worked on. The Posters in Porto Rosso For the fifth set of Easter eggs we have for you, we're going to be checking out some of the posters that can be seen throughout Porto Rosso Plaza the most noticeable being references to older Disney films. If you look, you will see a poster that looks very similar to the 1954 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, which is one of Disney's earlier films. You will also find posters for La Strada along with Roman Holiday, both of which also happen to be from the early 1950s, but neither are affiliated with Disney or Pixar. Mickey Mouse Number six takes us to one of the few times that Luca is imagining himself doing various activities with his new friends around Puerto Rosso. In the scene that we see Luca daydreaming about riding a Vespa around with his friend Alberto, if you take a look at the clouds in the background, you may see a familiar shape. Three round clouds would appear to form the shape of Mickey Mouse, who is the icon of Disney. The Goatfish Next, let's talk a bit about the Goatfish and what they represent in the film. Did you know that there were 24 Goatfish total? Did you also know that Luca is coming out as the 24th feature film released by Pixar? It's not a coincidence, Disney fans. The 24 Goatfish represent the 24 films Pixar has made up to this point. Pizza Planet Coming in at number 8, we have a fan favorite. Pizza Planet made its debut in the original Toy Story film, and you probably know by now that since that film's release, the Pizza Planet truck can be seen in almost every Pixar film ever made. Luca continued this trend wonderfully, but with its own original spin on it. It's a little difficult to catch because in Luca, the Pizza Planet is not in its traditional form. Seeing how there are no trucks in the film, it instead makes an appearance as a three-wheeled pickup truck during the last bike race of the film. Hidden Zip Code Another Easter egg can be found during a scene when Alberto gives Luca a train ticket that will take him to Genova. More specifically, the Easter egg is actually the number on the ticket. The number reads A113, which is an Easter egg that has shown up throughout other Pixar films such as Toy Story and A Bug's Life. This is a reference to the classroom number for the character animation classes that are taken at the California Institute of Arts. Another numerical Easter egg can be found on the front of the train that reads 94608. This Easter egg is actually the zip code for the Pixar headquarters, which are located in Emeryville, California. This, paired with the number of the train carriage that Luca boards, which is 1200 PA, will give you the headquarters address, 1200 Park Avenue, Emeryville, California, 94608. Luxo Ball Number 10 has us looking for the Luxo Ball. The Luxo Ball is a yellow ball with a red star in the center and a blue stripe running along the side. It made its debut in the Pixar short Luxo Jr. when Luxo Jr. used it as a prop. 
Since the Luxo Ball has made its first appearance, it has made many more cameos throughout the numerous other Pixar films, including Lilo and Stitch, Finding Nemo, Inside Out, with the possible most notable cameos being in the Toy Story films. But did you notice it in Luca as well? If you look closely in one of the aerial scenes, you might be able to spot it for yourself. It's located on a rooftop in one of the scenes closer to the end of the film, and I doubt that's the last time we will be seeing the Luxo Ball appear in future Pixar films as well. Elena. The 11th spot in our video today is taken up by an Easter egg from the beloved Pixar film Coco, specifically referencing a fan favorite character, Coco's dear Abuelita Elena. If you look at one of the boats that you can see in Luca, you will notice that one of the boats actually shares her name. This is a direct reference to the 2017 Pixar film Coco. La Luna. The 12th Easter egg in our video today can actually be found during the credits of the movie. In 2011, the Italian Pixar animated short La Luna was released. La Luna is a short story about a young boy who is coming of age and is taken by his father and grandfather to work. The boy is unsure whose lead to follow, his papa or his grandpapa. Did you know that La Luna isn't the only time you will see that little boy? He can also be seen during the credits of Luca, where he makes a brief appearance on the left-hand side, coloring the ground with what appears to be some chalk. The Blue Umbrella Next up, did you notice that when it begins to rain in Porto Rosso, everyone appears to be using similar black umbrellas? The only person who has a different colored umbrella is Alberto, who is holding a blue umbrella. Most fans believe this is a reference to The Blue Umbrella, which was another Pixar animated short. It was released alongside Monsters University back in 2013. The short involves a city that is in the middle of a downpour, and on the street, everyone is walking with a black umbrella, except for one, which is blue and is being carried by a man. It isn't long before he finds himself smitten with someone who is carrying a pretty red umbrella who happens to be right beside him. It is a short and sweet tale, and it would appear that Pixar wanted to pay homage to it in their newest film. The Helmet now, let's take a look at the helmet that you see Alberto and Luca wearing sometimes throughout the movie. Does it look familiar to you? That might be because it bears a striking resemblance to the helmet that we saw in Philip Sherman's fish tank in the 2003 Pixar movie Finding Nemo. The Barber of Seville The 15th Easter egg that we have for you involves an Italian classic. You may have recognized the tune that we hear when Luca and Alberto first meet Massimo. The song is called Largo al Factotum. And the reason it's so recognizable is that it's referenced in countless cartoons and other forms of media. The song comes from the famous Rossini opera, The Barber of Seville. This piece of music was also sung in the animated short, The Whale Who Wanted to Sing at the Met, by Willie the Whale. Most people know the song as Figaro. Up. Number 16 has us looking at an Easter egg for one of Pixar's most popular films, Up. Once again, we have to look towards some posters throughout Puerto Rosso, but if you look closely at one of them, you will find a small, well-known detail that was in the movie Up. The grape soda cap pin that was meant to symbolize the relationship between Carl and Ellie can be seen clearly on one of the posters. Authors and Filmmakers This next one is interesting. If you take a closer look at some of the street names in the film, you may have recognized some of the names. You see, the movie is home to a lot of homages to Italy and Italian cinema. The street names were actually named after a bunch of Italian authors and filmmakers, including a reference to the late, great Marcello Mastriani. It's clear that Luca wanted to refer to classic Italy, and it would seem like they definitely hit their mark. Turning red. Last but certainly not least, we're going to talk about the mysterious, unknown Easter egg referencing Pixar's upcoming movie, Turning Red. Now, although the existence of this Easter egg was 100% confirmed by Pixar screenwriters, it has yet to be found by anyone, and Pixar themselves are keeping extra quiet about what it could be as well. Adding on to this, we don't know much about the plot of Turning Red, aside from the fact that it is going to be a coming-of-age story that follows a young girl entering her teen years. The movie seems to be centered around the fact that when the main character gets happy or excited in any way, she turns into a giant red panda. As previously mentioned, no one has been able to figure out what the Luca Easter egg is to this unreleased film. However, despite this, several theories are circulating around the internet about what it could be based off of the limited information we know about the film and poster cover. Many are thinking that it actually has to do with one of the details that we do know about the main character of Turning Red. Details like the red sweater she can be seen wearing in the promotional picture, or the green clip that she has in her hair. Some are even guessing it could be her glasses, but no one to date has gone back and been able to identify or find these accessories in Luca. At this point, it is pure speculation, but the internet seems to think they are onto something with the limited information that they do have. If you have any ideas about what this Easter egg could be, be sure to let us know in the comments. There you have it, 18 Easter eggs in the Luca film. 
and a subtle clue to Pixar's new movie Turning Red. So what do you think? Were you able to find the secret Easter egg for Pixar's upcoming movie? Let us know in the comments. That's all, Disney fans. Like and subscribe for more magically packed videos.